Now, you know, I give my respect, right? But but he says some things here that I want to deal with. Um, I won't take any of this as any slight of disrespect to us because we were quiet on the issue. So I know he wasn't talking to us. So let's uh, take a look at what the bishop had to say. Where we at? Second Corinthians chapter three and verse six. Uh -huh. Who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament. So what are we teaching then? If we're not under the New Testament, why are we on the street saying repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand? Give me Jeremiah 31, 31 real quick. Bishop, you said if we're not in the New Testament, why are we on the street saying repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand? Well, <laughs> Bishop, I, I got to tell you why. There's a reason why we're on the streets doing that. That proves we're not in the new covenant, brother. It proves it. Let's read. The book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 31, starting at verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Right, read on. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers mm -hmm. in the day that I took them by the hand mm -hmm. to bring them out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. which my covenant they break. Read on. Although I was an husband unto them, said the Lord, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, mm -hmm. said the Lord. Read on. I will put my law in their inward parts mm -hmm. and write it in their hearts mm -hmm. and i will be their god and they shall be my people okay go ahead verse 34 and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor uh-huh and every man his brother read on saying know the lord so brother you ask your own question let's hear it again there's of the new testament so what are we teaching then if we're not under the new testament why are we on the street saying repent for the kingdom of heaven is that but you're teaching. The fact that you're teaching shows you're not in a new covenant. Because they say, what again? Verse 34. And they shall teach no more. You shall what? Teach no more. So if you're teaching, brother, you can't be in the New Testament, the new right. covenant. You can't be. It's impossible. Right? Especially if you're teaching the house of Israel and the house of Israel. All right. Shalom. Shalom. I'm going to give all praise to Abba Yeah, Abba Shema Shaka Osha. Abba Shema Kapo Dash. Peace and bless all the blood ones baptized in this new covenant. For the mention of sins and today. We respond to Gorilla Hebrew saying that if you're teaching, you're not in a new covenant, man. Which I'm gonna get some scriptures to show that uh, uh the, the 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 ultimate teacher is the Holy Spirit, man, and the Holy Spirit is working through the apostles, man. So it's not us ultimately teaching; it's the Holy Spirit working through the beloved. Because what you forgot was that the scripture says, "If ye abide in me, and my word abide in you." Right, he shall ask what you will, it should be done unto you. Meaning, what we're one, he said, I will, I and my father will come make our abode with us. So, when you see beloveds, you looking at man, but it's really the Holy Spirit teaching. What do you think the when the apostles was going out to teach, you think they was teaching their whole own doctrine? No, they were teaching the Holy Spirit. So, according to Gorilla Hebrew, if you're still teaching, can't be in the New Testament, that's not true because it's, it's really. The Holy Spirit that's teaching this is John 14 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. No, Ak, we still teaching. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So, how was the Comforter going to do that? Through the apostles, obviously, beloved ones. All right, we got this word uh, under the apostles, man. Okay, so that's how we was taught the, this word, man, by the Holy Ghost that was inside the apostle, just like the same Holy Ghost that was in what? My shot, y'all was shot. All right? So obviously, it's the Holy Spirit that's teaching, man. The bishop had to say. Where we at? Second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament. So what are we teaching them? If we're not under the New Testament, why are we on the street saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand? Give me Jeremiah 31, 31 real quick. Bishop, you said, if we're not in the New Testament, why are we on the street saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand? Well, <laughs> Bishop, I, I gotta tell you why. There's a reason why we're on the streets doing that. That proves we're not in the new covenant, brother. It proves it. Let's read. The book of the prophet Jeremiah, 
chapter 31, starting at verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Right, read on. Not according to the covenant that I made with their father mm -hmm. in the day that I took them by the hand mm -hmm. to bring them out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. which my covenant they break. Read on. Although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Read on. I will put my law in their inward parts mm -hmm. and write it in their hearts. Mm -hmm. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. Okay, go ahead. Verse 34. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. Uh-huh. And every man his brother Read on Saying Know the Lord So brother You ask your own question Let's hear it again There's of the New Testament So what are we teaching then? If we're not under the New Testament Why are we on the street saying Repent For the kingdom of heaven Is that But you're teaching The fact that you're teaching Shows you're not in the new covenant Because they say what again Verse 34 And they shall teach No more You shall what Teach No more So if you're teaching brother You can't be in the New Testament The new covenant You can't be it's impossible, right? Especially if you're teaching the house of Israel and the house of Jesus. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We we'll give our praise to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Heavenly Son, the Lord's glorious Holy Spirit. Peace and bless all the blood ones baptized in the New Testament for the remission of sins. And today, uh, I'm responding to Gorilla Hebrews' video, basically saying that uh, if you're still teaching, you're not in the New Covenant, which I got a, a few verses for that, which I'm going to start with Isaiah chapter 30 in the Prophets, all right, which... Um, Isaiah 30 and 19, it reads, for the people shall dwell at Zion, right? So wouldn't you say when we get back to Zion, we're in the new covenant, right? At Jerusalem, thou shalt weep no more, right? Isn't that part of the new covenant, not weeping anymore? He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry, right? Isn't the Lord's blood part of the, the grace of the new covenant, right? When he shall hear it and he shall answer, Isaiah 30 and 20, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, right? Which we, we go through the adversity, the tribulations, Jacob's trouble, right? And the water of affliction, right? I think in the uh, law, I tell you that uh, you had to go to the nation for the one of all things and for your bread and water. It says, yet shall not thy teachers, what? Yet shall not thy teachers, thy who? Thy teachers. No, if you're teaching... You're not in the new covenant. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So it says we're going to have teachers that's not going to be removed into a corner anymore. Meaning they're not going into captivity or slavery. They're in the new covenant. And they're still called teachers, man. So we still have teachers, right? That's not going to be removed into a corner anymore. That's talking about the apostles, beloved ones. Their names is written in heaven. Apostles is our teachers, man. Through the Holy Ghost, man. Right? Yes, shall not thy teachers. So we we have teachers. All right. It says, Yes, shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. That's talking about you're not going into bondage anymore. Our teachers. So we still do have teachers in the new covenant. All right. Having teachers is still a part of the new covenant. Right? Yet shall not thy teach. So we had what people that taught us. That and uh and taught us through the Holy Ghost, and then you, you don't need a man to teach you after that, right? Just like after the beloveds was baptized and received the Holy Ghost, they didn't have to go to a man to teach them, right? Uh Peter didn't have to go uh to the elders, you know, to, to be taught. Paul didn't have to go be taught of man. He didn't have to go back to Gamaliel. All right. So it says, what? Yes, shall th not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So we still have teachers that ain't going to go into a corner anymore. Meaning they ain't going scattered throughout the four corners no more. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. All right. <clears throat> and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way walk ye in it. Right. Meaning what? The, the, the 12 apostles going to sit on thrones in the regeneration teaching the 12 tribes of Israel. See that? So that happens when, when the beloved sit on thrones, which that happens when the Lord come back. So when the Lord come back, the, the 12 apostles, which is our teachers, they're not going to be removed into a corner anymore. They're going to be on 12 thrones. 
judging the 12 tribes of Israel. When you're judging somebody, you're telling them uh, the way they should do something, man. That's teaching, man. All right. And we're going to be what? Teaching the nations. All right. So hi, if you're in a new covenant, uh, if you're still teaching, you're not in a new covenant. That's silly, bro. All right. The law tells you we're going to be teaching the nations and that the 12 apostles, the 12 uh, uh, apostles is going to be teaching what? And they're going to be judging the 12 tribes of Israel. That's teaching, man. Let's get that. All right. This is Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. And Jesus, my shock said unto them, verily, I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the son of man shall sit on the throne of his glory. So this happens when he sit on the throne of his glory. Man. All right. Which we know the Lord hasn't sat on the throne of his glory yet. We still waiting for his second coming. Right, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones. So the twelve apostles, whose names is already written in heaven, whose names is, you know, on the gates of the kingdom and all that, right? They're gonna be what? Uh, sitting on thrones, man. Twelve thrones, judging, doing what? Judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Wait a minute, Ark. You're not in the New Testament because you're still teaching. You shouldn't still be teaching because when you're going out on the street corners, are not you judging the people and telling them right from wrong? So shouldn't they, th these apostles, shouldn't they not be in the regeneration in the new covenant because they're still judging the 12 tribes of Israel? Wait a minute, Ak. You still teaching. You still judging, brother. Right? So if, if, we, if that literally means ain't nobody going to be, uh, you know, ever teach again, then that means there should be no more judging, man, when they sit on, on the 12 thrones. It just doesn't make any sense, man. All right? Because that's not what that's talking about when it says uh, you don't need a man to teach you, man. All right? That's talking about uh, receiving the Holy Spirit to, to obtain salvation. All right? But we still know in part, beloved ones, even though the Lord is going to save, beloved, it's according to his grace and mercy, beloved, still know in part so... All right, when we get back with the Lord and, and we see our teachers and we see uh, the Lord and our teachers and the apostles, they're still going to be what? Judging. They're going to they're going to iron out all the things that we know in part. Now, they going to fix that. See, beloved ones, we can't fix that. Uh, we know in part stuff, man. All right. Only uh, uh, the Lord and apostles going to fix that, man. That's why it says when they sit on the thrones, they're going to be judging the 12 tribes of Israel. It's not talking about uh, them condemning the 12 tribes of Israel because this is talking about the actual in, in, in kingdom. It's talking about uh, edifying them on the things that you know in part. That's going to be ironed out. It ain't going to be just snap of the finger. I know everything. It ain't going to happen like that. No, it's not going to be snap of the finger simultaneously. We know it all. We don't need to be ta taught ever again. That's not what's going to happen, blood one. The apostles is going to be sitting on 12 thrones with the Lord Mashiach. All right. And they're going to be judging all of us, beloved ones. And what? Uh, they're going to be sharpening us, man. All right. On all the things we like at. All right. Because we're clearly not getting saved by all the breakdowns or, you know, I got Daniel, the, the 11th chapter down to a T or I can break down, uh, you know, the book of Maccabees or I can break down, uh, you know, second edges and the damn bird with all the feathers and you know, all the heads. Right. That's not what's going to save you. All right. So that don't mean you still not going to have to get edified on all, all that stuff. We still going to have to get edified on this, on this bird, man. And the apostles is going to be doing that in the regeneration, judging us, teaching us on the things we are knowing part, man. Okay? So it says, uh, when the Son of Man sit on the throne of his glory. All right? That's going to be the physical manifestation of the kingdom. So are we going to say the 12 apostles not in the new covenant because they still judging the 12 tribes of Israel? Come on, beloved ones. All right? So, yes, the Holy Ghost. It's, it's going to be continually edifying us, beloved ones. All right? Even the angels still learn from the, from the Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit. You think the angels don't got to be taught anything? No, they still learn from the Lord. You think the, the Lord don't reveal everything to everybody, man? He, he, it's, the scriptures even tell you it's things that the angels inquire of, man. Okay? So we all still learning, beloved ones.
but we don't need to be taught to uh, know the Lord on how to get saved, all right, from from that old covenant, all right. So the apostles gonna be still uh, judging in the kingdom, all right. You guys on the byways are, are judging people. So are you not with the Lord because you're judging somebody according to the Bible? So yes, in the kingdom. The, the, the apostles is still going to be teaching. We're still going to see our teachers. Did not the scripture says, thy eyes shall see thy teachers? You see your teachers in the regeneration when the Mashiach sit on that throne, man. And, and we see the 12 apostles judging the 12 tribes of Israel. That's why I said we're going to see our teachers. The teachers is the apostles, man. All right? And the apostles ain't going to be removed into a corner anymore. And they're still called our teachers. So all that, uh, if you're still teaching stuff, you're not in the new covenant. It's, it's nonsense, man. All right. And they still going to be what? Uh, edifying the beloved through the Holy Spirit. See, we're going to be getting taught through the Holy Spirit, man, not through man's curriculum. We don't need a man's curriculum to teach us. We taught by the Holy Spirit through the apostles doctrine. See that? And the apostles still going to be coming with doctrine in the kingdom. See that? Showing you the apostles doctrine is still being pushed in the kingdom. It said they're going to be judging the 12 tribes of Israel, man. First Corinthians chapter six, verse two. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters, man? All right. So how are we going to judge the world if ain't nobody going to be teaching man, in the kingdom because you want a new covenant? How are you going to judge the world if we ain't got if ain't nobody going to be teaching? 